Hey everybody. I've talked a lot about how I like a console style experience from my high performing PC. And a lot of people ask me how I set that up. Because one of the biggest things is PC side, we have a lot of launchers. I mean a lot of different game stores. Um, plus, I'm a big proponent of cloud gaming. I like the flexibility of it, the ability to play on the go, not have to download anything. Just having the option, right? If I want to run something on a low end power device, I can still enjoy the full fidelity. So how do I do all of that just sitting on a recliner with just a controller in hand? Well, let me start off by showing you the Play Night Launcher. That's what we're in right now. So we're in a mode called full screen mode on the Play Night Launcher. It can pull in all your game stores uh, with a sign in. And then I also figured out a way to bring in GeForce Now games that I'd like to play. So how do we add them in? So let me go to the regular desktop mode and I'll show you. So if we click in the upper left here, go to update game library. This is where you would sync up all the different accounts. So you can see they connect with Amazon games. If you claim any games through there, Battle.net, EA app, Epic, the Galaxy Store, Steam, Ubisoft Connect, even Xbox Game Pass. So anything I want to install locally, I can do through that. It'll automatically pull it in here and then I can quick launch it from this launcher. Now for something like GeForce Now where it's cloud, we don't have that local install. So how do I add that? Let me show you that. So first, let's go to Alan Wake 2 on the GeForce Now app. We're going to click this desktop shortcut button here. So click that. We'll go to the desktop. You can see it's added here. We're going to paste that in a folder I created just for GeForce Now. And then in the Play, Play Night app, we're going to click Add a Game here. We're going to go to this bottom option, Microsoft Store Application. Obviously, that link isn't a Microsoft Store application, but this works the best, and I'll show you why. So we're going to click that. We're going to click Browse. This is why it works well. We've located Alan Wake 2 here on the GFN folder. It kind of defaults to that because I've done it with numerous other games. We're going to click Open here. We're going to check mark it to make sure it's selected, and then click Add Game. So you can see it now added that link here as something I can launch but it's missing the title art and some of the details. How do we add that? So let's right click that, click edit. We're gonna click download meta metadata here. The IGDB database, Alan Wake 2. This is where you select which game, which version, which title art do you want? Select, and then the name. I like to choose the one that has on GeForce Now, if it's through GeForce Now, just so I know if it's installed locally or not. I'll hit select. You can see it pulls in all the relevant information along with a little blurb about the game. We'll click save and then there you go. It's updated. So now if we put it in full screen mode, the quick button to do that is just F11 by the way to quick swap between them. You can see we are now back in that full screen mode, very console style experience. I can do everything from the controller, click A or the the uh, cross button on a PlayStation controller to see this information, Alan Wake 2 on GeForce Now. You can see Coral Island here is installed natively through the Xbox uh, PC Game Pass store. But let's launch this. So we launch Alan Wake 2. It'll automatically minimize it for you. Pull up GeForce Now. Launch that game. And we'll get into it. And you can see. Instant replay on. I love their screen capture and video capture, by the way. It captures it natively from the servers, the data center, so it looks really crisp. For those that haven't played this yet, play it. I've beaten it twice. Incredible game. Probably my favorite along with Baldur's Gate 3 to win game of the year this year. So you can see we're in the game. Continue load, new game, exit game, whatever. Okay, so we'll exit here. It's going to close the game. There it goes. It's going to close that, the GeForce Now, and then bam, I don't like to take takes you back here. So again, with like the push of a button, you can start the game. Quit out of the game and you're just automatically taken back here. 
So it doesn't matter if it's a natively installed game like Coral, Coral Island I have here or a GeForce Now game. Now you may be wondering, okay, you sit down in the recliner, you start at the PC, what kind of finagling do you need to do to, to, to just get to this? Well, for that, let me go back to desktop mode for you so you can see how I have it set up. So I have Playnet Launcher starting at Windows Startup. And then in settings, one of the options I have turned on is launch in full screen mode right here. So I have launch play night when you start your computer, launch in full screen mode, and then save that. So when I start it up and I have the HDMI plugged into my TV, the only screen that comes on is my TV monitor. Uh, because in display settings here, I'll show you that real quick. Um, and it'll automatically pull up that play night in full screen mode. So I actually have three screens. You can see this number three here is missing. That's because my TV is unplugged right now. So when I have my TV plugged in, it makes that my main monitor. And then on these, I select this um, disconnect, disconnect this monitor. So when I plug in the TV, it closes both these two monitors, only shows up on my TV monitor, and then Play Night is there in all its glory in full screen mode like this. When I disconnect that HDMI, it automatically goes back to the other two screens and between those two extended displays. So yeah, if I want to play on my TV, uh, relax my recliner, all I do is plug in an HDMI cable that I have connected on an extend in the back of my TV, um, start up the computer, and it defaults to this automatically. So if there's anything I missed, any additional details you want, um, clarification, let me know. I think I went over pretty well. Play Night makes it super simple. There's some sign-ins that you do for the stores, obviously. But then once that syncs up, um, it's super easy. So have a good one, all. Enjoy your gaming.